Girls rock! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV girl bands we wish were real. For this list, we'll be looking at those girl bands from television series that were so good they could jump right off the screen. We're only looking at bands from the small screen, including web series, because girl groups from the big screen deserve a list of their own. Come on, girls! Put your backs into it! Yeah, that's it! Shake what your mama gave you! Number 10. LPDZ – The Proud Family Like with so many great groups of friends before them, the idea to start a band also one day crossed the minds of Penny Proud and her friend group. Can y'all say record deal? Record deal. deal! My people will call your people and we can do this, y'all! <laughs> Penny, La Cienega, Dijonet, and Zoe combine their talents to create this unforgettable girl group. That's why we're successful. With hip-hop and R&B influences, they are so good that they eventually got a record deal and even competed on TV. Unlike other fictional girl groups, LPDZ wasn't a one-off group that disappeared just as fast as it formed. The group had its own arc throughout the show. There were some power struggles and inner conflict, but ultimately they're just four best friends having fun together, and that's the dream. That's my daughter! Dude, that's your daughter? Dude, she's a hottie. We would pay money to see them live. Number 9. Girl Talk – Full House Music was always a big part of Full House thanks to Uncle Jesse, but while Jesse and the Rippers is iconic, we've got a soft spot for Stephanie Tanner's band Girl Talk. Their first performance didn't go so well, but as Uncle Jesse said, they had serious potential. Unfortunately, they never performed again at least not until their reunion in Fuller House. I saw the sign, and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign, life is demanding without understanding. But the experience ignited a love of music in Stephanie, who reached minor success with her own hit single as an adult. However, we've got to say that it would still be cool to see a real-life performance from Girl Talk, and we're confident they wouldn't choke again. Two, three, four. Number 8. Hell Hath No Fury – Degrassi The Next Generation Excuse us, posers. Real musicians coming here? Degrassi is famous for the numerous amounts of fictional bands it turned out, but we're giving a special shout-out to this all-girl band consisting of Ashley, Paige, and Hazel, along with Ellie as a replacement for Terry, who was in the previous group known as Paige, Michael, Chuck, and the Sex Kittens. After Craig cheated on Ashley and broke her heart, Ashley channeled all her rage into this band bent on defeating him in a Battle of the Bands competition. She writes a devastating song about his infidelity that shakes his confidence and nearly does him in. They arguably should have won instead of Craig with his last-minute lyrics. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much more from them, with Ellie failing to bring the band back together again right before graduation. But we sure wish we could. We're talking about our band, Hell Hath No Fury. Why don't we start it up again? <laughs> On top of Helming Spirit Squad, we're a little booked up right now. Number 7. Sadie Killer and the Suspects Steven Universe. First of all, that badass band name in and of itself makes us want to buy general admission tickets and rock out in the mosh pit for this band. Teens by day, we're all right. Teens by day, but every night we're Sadie Killer and the Suspects. Whoa. Though their music uses goth style imagery and has a kind of dark theatricality, they have the stage presence of an old school glam metal band. I used to be sick, sick and tired. Terrified. And their lyrics are reminiscent of emo and pop-punk music cultures. With the combination of all these genres and styles, they no doubt would become indie rock icons that could tear the roof off of a real-life stage. And then we can do this! Now we just need some provocative lyrics. Number 6. Lolly Rock Lolly Rock Unlike many of the bands on this list, Lolly Rock isn't just some side story arc to accent the overall plot. Oh, 
The band is the show. Iris auditions for the female group Lolly Rock in search of a creative outlet, only to realize that her singing releases her magical powers. And if I'm feeling down, my friends will come around. We're gonna make some noise, we'll be laughing. Apparently, she's a princess meant to use these powers to protect her kingdom. The series sees the band struggle through playing together and training together to help Iris reach her full potential as a singer and also save her kingdom. Those sure are some supportive bandmates. Music, fantasy, and girl power? Could you want for anything more? Wake up, sorry. Get up, ready. Move up. To the music revolution, babe. Number 5. The Rain Booms My Little Pony Equestria Girls Franchise Experience the world like you've never seen it before at the one, the only, Equestria Land! Stop, cut, cut! Why is everyone dressed like they're not dressed? Though it might be difficult to imagine a band full of real-life singing humanoid ponies taking the stage, we're gonna ask you to suspend your disbelief just a little bit for this one. But damn, what a gimmick that would be if this could somehow be real. As part of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic known as Equestria Girls, the dynamic harmonies of the sonic rain booms are on point. First appearing in the My Little Pony Equestria Girls films, the student band have also shown off their upbeat, inspirational sound in the web series and TV specials of the same name. But they're not just great performers, they use their music to fight for the forces of good. We fought magic more than once and come out on top. Oh. There's other schools, but none can make those claims. Na, 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 na. Their rival band, the Dazzlings, have sinister plans in mind, but they are no match for the Rain Booms. It doesn't matter. Number 4. The Chipettes – Alvin and the Chipmunks The real stars of this show might have been Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, but their female counterparts, the Chipettes, definitely steal the show. Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor brought with them an intangible element whenever they appeared on this animated series. Their signature high-pitched singing voices and sweet disposition would have made them interesting to watch in a live setting. We're not so sure that it would work out, as they would probably drive the sound guy crazy, but we for sure would pay to see that happen. And let's face it, they're just plain adorable. Total crowd pleaser. Number 3. Josie and the Pussycats Josie and the Pussycats This animated group from the early 70s was more than just a band. They also solved mysteries. Now for one last test of my goal-destroying microbe miss. A crime-fighting musical trio. How epic would that be in real life? Their concerts would have off-the-charts entertainment value. Pussycats! Long tails and ears behind! We get to take in a fun night of their upbeat tunes, followed by the big finale of them taking down some baddies. It worked! Looks like curtains! I mean drapes for Midas! Daisy. Daisy. Hey, watch it! Whether you prefer the original cartoon or the grittier version from the 2010's Riverdale, one thing is for sure. A real-life Josie and the Pussycats would mark the comeback of pop girl groups like Destiny's Child and TLC. And we are all here for that. Paintings on her skin, colors in her hair. Come around the corner, make you stop and stare. But she don't paint on my cause she don't really care. Number 2. Hex Girls – Scooby-Doo Franchise As their name might suggest, this group has a dark tone and theme to their music. The beating of the corpse man's drum will not rat a tat tat on this happening, darlings. They first appeared in a few of the franchise's direct-to-video films before moving on to TV. Rather than some cutesy girl group like you might expect from a kid's cartoon, the Hex Girls have a depth more akin to an old-school metal band, mixed with hints of a pop-punk sound. And their goth style is visually appealing. The 
Scooby gang might have been super suspicious of them based on their first impression, but we can't really blame them. Their witchy music will put a spell on you. These bands had total bangers. Here are some other impossibly catchy groups before we get to number one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jem and the Holograms Jem. Alter egos, rival bands, holograms. This band would be awesome in real life. Me and my friends are Jem girls. Jem. Jem is my name. Exciting adventure, fashion and fame. One star, a Jem girl, you never the same. The animated TV series Jem was a cross between an action packed weekend morning cartoon and a rocking musical. Back when this show was on the air, this band would have been merely a futuristic fantasy. But nowadays, with artists like Sia who mask who they are, and today's technology, the idea of a singer with a secret identity and a band with a hologram projecting robot isn't so far fetched. Jericho Benton, I have come for you. If they existed in real life, the holograms would certainly be internet sensations today. We all know that their feud with the Misfits would be the celebrity Twitter beef to watch. Hey, lighten up. It's not our fault that Aja Chick can't drive. Yeah! Look, just leave the serious business to me. I'll see to it that you win. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.